Hey guys, so uh, you'll notice that this thing is no longer on uh, on the jack stands anymore, and uh, there's a reason for it. Um, I was reading on the uh, 914 World website about what were safe jacking points uh, for this car, and uh, came across uh, a thread where a guy had jack stands just like these, these ratcheting kind. And uh, one let go, it didn't fail, didn't slip off, didn't move or anything, it just went and it released itself and uh, dropped the car on his face. <laughs> and uh, he certainly survived, apparently he, he pushed the car off or lifted the car off of himself and called for help and uh, fractured a bunch of uh, bones in his face. Um, so suffice it to say, um, I'm not going to use these until uh, I can you know, get around to pinning them, because that's what uh, some other people were recommending, is that you get the ones with pins. Apparently, the, you know, in the U.S., the, uh, what, Occupational Health and Safety, whatever that is, their recommended ones, or the only ones that they'll authorize using are the ones with pins, rather than these ratcheting ones. Um, so I'll drill these out, and I'll, uh, I'll find a nice grade 8 uh, bolt to use as a pin or something like that. As you know, as a backup, not as a primary. This is still a, the ratchet piece will still be the primary, but uh, that'll be in there to keep this thing from dropping any further. So, what I was going to use instead, because I am aware that these ramps, and you can see they're a little rusty even, are not perfect either, especially these ones which don't have a brace like, uh, like these ones. You know, they could certainly fail. So, what I'm making is I cut up a bunch of two by fours and I'm making myself a couple of, well, four crib blocks to uh, place under the four jacking points. And uh, that's what I'll use to support the car when I'm doing any work underneath it. Uh, that's going to be probably as safe as I could ever be under anything else because there's no way that these are going to collapse and I think that they're wide enough that they're not going to fall over and I'm not going to be, you know, Screaming on the car that hard that I could ever possibly knock those over. So uh, I think that that's a good safe way to go. Now I, I've got these ones are all set up. I haven't they obviously nailed them together yet, but uh, I've uh, got them set up such that uh, they'll be about 15 inches high, or exactly 15 inches high, which is not quite high enough to pull the engine out the back. I'm going to be a couple of inches short but I don't really want to make them a lot lot higher so what I probably will do is I'll probably cut a couple of uh, two by tens uh, as like sacrificial pieces to rest under the pinch welds on the uh, on the edges of the uh, body there and uh, and those will be what I'll use to, to space it up some but I'll have to see how much I need to lift it up by uh, you know I'm not going to do it in advance because that's just a rough calculation you know, I assume that the engine is about 20 inches high, and that's actually including the air cleaner, so I could actually knock a hell of a lot of height off of that just by removing the air cleaner and whatever's underneath it, like the throttle body or whatever. Well, it is multi-port fuel injection, so it's just, I guess, a butterfly there, but nevertheless. Anyways, I digress. I'm going to nail these together. I was going to screw them together, but I think that uh, nailing will be fine. There's going to be so many layers of them, so many nails in this thing, I don't see any possible way they're going to ever come apart. So, uh, I'm going to get to that. There you go, guys. That's uh, four of them almost done. I was thinking I was going to make the top, uh, well, top two layers, uh, you know, separate and just not screw them onto the top piece. But then it occurred to me that if I do that, you make a slip plane. And it, although it doesn't sound like it's the sort of thing that would slide, you know, if the wood got wet, get it you know, engine oil on it, whatever, you know, potentially you could, uh, you could have it moving on you, and, uh, I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to screw these ones down to the other ones, um, I'll tell you, that thing came in damn handy, it would have taken me hours to screw all these together, um, that's the other thing I was going to point out as well about these things, is, uh, remember I was saying earlier that if I needed a little bit extra height, I'd put a piece on top of here. Well, the same thing applies to that. So if I ever do use any kind of a spoil board on top, I'll screw that down to the uh, to the crib blocks here, and uh, and it should be uh, plenty solid 
you know, like I have no uh, no worries at all about this stuff, you know, you know, not taking any kind of a load, you know, like I think I could put the tractor on these and uh, and they wouldn't fail, you know, like this, that's nearly as good as a as a basically a you know a solid stump. It's probably better because you've got all sorts of interlocking uh, patterns of uh, of uh, fiber, so there isn't any definite split plane for this thing to you know come apart at. Anyways, uh, that's it for today, guys. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to jack this thing up and, uh, and uh, put, put it on the uh, crib blocks. And then we uh, can start working on this thing in earnest. You know, I still have some things to take out of the front trunk. I've determined that I'm going to start at the front, so I still have to go and take the headlights off and all the other fun stuff in there, like the heater-related stuff. But... We'll see if I can kind of uh, compartmentalize it a bit here. You know, like obviously I gotta take the fuel pump out as well because that's the first thing I want to fix is that part down there. And then we'll go from there. We'll see how we go. This lip is going to be the thing that you know, as simple as it is, is going to be the part that I guarantee you is going to take the longest amount of time to fix in this front part here. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.